Hi, I'm LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you want to be inspired on a daily basis, then this is the perfect place for you. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Hello, hello. It's me, LaShawn, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you decided to join me here once again. It's going to be a beautiful day because your day will be how you make it. If you wake up and start off in a positive attitude, that's the way your day is going to be. Okay, so if you're new here, I tell you just a little bit about myself to start off my videos. I am LaShawn. I am the divorced mother of three adult children, two boys and a girl. Their ages are 22, 24, and 30. So as you can see, I'm an empty nester. I am a YouTuber over the age of 50, and that's all you need to know, okay? <laughs> I am also a United States Navy veteran. I am now disabled, and because I'm disabled, I work from home, and I do this YouTube thing, and I hustle every single day. I'm also a surgical tech. I did that for many, many years. I had a lot of fun doing that. It brought me lots and lots of joy. So now I'm here on YouTube and I try each day to uplift, encourage, and inspire as many people as I can. So if any of that sounds like something you want to hear or sounds like something that you want to tune into, all you have to do is like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click the bell because that's the only way you're going to be notified when I have new videos, okay? So, here's the video for today. Hello, hello. It's me, LaShawn, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are washing dishes. We are in the kitchen area, and so I am going to wash dishes. It's a great way to relax. Walker, and I bring it with me in the kitchen so that I can sit down when I get tired doing dishes. A lot of people uh, are like, oh, washing dishes, but it's relaxing to a certain extent. It depends on the chaos in your house. If your house is quiet and the clicking sounds and the bubbles and the running water, it's relaxing to me. So we are going to do a video today. We're going to clean this kitchen. We're going to wash these dishes and we're going to organize the drawer. Now, we're not, I'm not sure how much of that I'm going to tape because I've learned that the shorter videos do better. Uh, because of the fact that it takes a whole bunch of time just to film a video. If I'm cleaning, making beds, and washing dishes, I have to rest. <laughs> you know how people take cigarette breaks? I have to take a rest break in between. And then when it comes time to editing, I got all these little segments that I got to piece together. And it's a lot, a lot of work. So it's much easier to just fight through the pain do the video and try to do it as briefly as possible. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Also, if you haven't already, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And click the bell so you're notified every single time I come out with a new video. But we are still hustling with our subscribers, about to hit 5,000. So that means it's time for more of you to become members of the channel. now. This is the positive patch. That's right. No bashing over here. No negativity. No drama. Zero. I don't allow it over here. Okay? This is it. All we got is a positive vibe coming over here. And if you like that, become a member of the channel. It's $1.99 a month. That's less than a cup of coffee. And you know what? You will be blessing this YouTube channel. You'll be blessing me. <laughs> okay, let's watch these dishes. Oh, there's one more thing. I do these videos to help people with limited mobility. Wheelchairs, walkers, canes, scooters. Because everybody's looking for options. Everybody's trying to figure out how to do things. But more than anything, when you start losing your ability to do things for yourself, you need to find ways to become self-sufficient. And that's why I do these videos. Okay? So... Enjoy the video. Okay, you two. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. These are my dirty dishes, and I'm finna knock them out right now. I'm finna wash them up real quick. And the first, the first uh, sink will be for washing, and the second one 
will be for our rinsing. And then we'll put them all in the rack over there, okay? Here is our Dawn, and we're gonna use this Dawn to wash the dishes. Absolutely love Dawn. Okay, that's what we're gonna use for today. I just fight through the pain. Even when I'm tired, Father God, I push myself and I do the very best I can. When you live alone, you if you don't do it, who's going to do it for you, right? So all I can say is if you have to use some kind of device to get around, you can still be productive. You still can be efficient in your apartment. Uh, it takes a little planning. And also, it will also help you to rest in between so that you can get more things done. Because our goal is to be as self-sufficient as we can. It doesn't take very long to straighten up your kitchen. The very best thing to do is to simply wash as you go, especially when you're in a small apartment. My apartment is 630 square feet, and the kitchen is just, I can't even put both my arms out. It's so small. So I try to clean as I go, but on those days when I'm really sick or it's difficult to get around, then I just put the dishes in the sink because I don't have a dishwasher, and then I come back for them later. So do what you have to do.
Okay. Sometimes when you start to feel pain or you starting to get tired, it's okay to sit down. And um, if you got a walker, pull your walker up. If you're in a wheelchair, obviously, you can get some type of relief by pushing away from the sink and just getting a bottle of water or something. Breathe in, breathe out, and then come back later. This is not a race. This is not a contest. Do your very best. washing the dishes and they are in the rack and I let them dry uh well mostly and then I get a clean uh hand towel out of the um linen closet and I dry them and then I put them away I just wanted to show you the mechanics of how I wash the dishes okay I am all finished with the kitchen as you can see it's nice and clean and I cleaned off all the countertops and I cleaned um, the hand sanitizer, the antibacteria, and the Dawn. I used the uh, antibacterial wipes. I cleaned the faucet all the way around, including the back of the baseboard. And then this is the inside of sink number one. And as you can see, I cleaned it and dried it out nice and clean. Then over here, uh, this is the second sink. I didn't dry this one out because this was the rinse sink, and so I, I just forgot, but it, it doesn't matter, it'll air dry. Then this is the countertop, nice and clean. Then if you look back there, the rack is empty because I dried all the dishes and put them up. This is the microwave, and I cleaned the inside and the out of my little microwave. And then as we, you see the counter is clean, and this is my stove that is clean. As clean as it's gonna get that's how we roll and I cleaned up here is the what do you call it the hood is nice and clean that is clean I wiped it off because that gets greasy now and then and then this is where I keep my oh no one of them you gotta fill it up when it when you use a coffee when I use a coffee you gotta fill it back up anyway this is the coffee and I wiped everything down. And then over here is the Keurig machine. And I break this completely down. And there's no water in there. I don't leave any water in the reservoir. And it's nice and clean. As you can see, I clean the inside of the Keurig machine. It looks brand new. Everything is nice and clean. And then this is the refrigerator. And I wipe down the handles with antibacterial wipes. So that's it. That is our clean kitchen. And we are finished for the day. Remember, only do what you can and do your very best. Okay? So this is it. This is my kitchen. Okay, thank you for joining me today in the kitchen. As you can see, it's a transformation because we try our very best to do our best on any given day. And that's all you can do. That's it. Stop beating yourself up because you didn't wash all the dishes, okay? Um, stop beating yourself up because you tried to cook dinner, but you couldn't stand up that long. Stop beating yourself up. You can only do what you can do. The person next door might be able to do all of the above. And some days you might be able to do all of the above. But on some days, but on most days, but on some days, but on most days, <laughs> that's the remix. Seriously, because it's an up and down situation. And I am a classic example. I used to walk every single day. Now it's a struggle. You only can do what you can. Some days I feel, ooh, empowered enough where I feel like I can walk and climb a mountain. 
But on other days, I don't even think I can make it to the door. So it's a battle of your mind, first of all. And then you have to battle your body to get moving. And so do your very best, okay? That's it. That's all I got for you. That's it. And um, I appreciate each and every one of my subscribers. I simply adore you. And you know who you are. <laughs> I thank you all, and God bless you all. This has been a whirlwind. This has been a great week for me, and I appreciate the love of um, my three children. Um, I appreciate the love of God. I'm grateful for my apartment, and I'm grateful for each one of you. Okay. <laughs> thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Take a minute to leave a comment. I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.